I was doing this during the commercial break. <laughs> See, you're lucky you had commercials. You could have had three minutes of me doing that. <laughs> my first guest tonight is an icon. Her new book is an autobiography. It's called Home, a memoir of my... Memoir? Yes, I'm European. A memoir <laughs> of my early years. It's number one on the New York Times bestseller list. Yes, number one. <laughs> Number one. Please welcome the adorable icon that is Julie Andrews. They're very happy to see you, Julie, as am I. Thank you. How lovely you to see too. you again. We saw, well, I met you at one of these Hollywood things a while yeah, back. Yeah, a long time back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, you go to a lot of these things? Uh, yeah. I, I, you, I, you're a bit of an icon. Do people kind of pussyfoot around you a little bit? There's no. Lots of, there's lots of kissing up, I noticed. No, no. Yes, there is. <laughs> I was kissing up to you. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> What about you? No, no, not at all. I no, see. it's like, oh, look, it's the guy that was on the nanny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Speaking of nannies... Oh, yeah. Oh, yes! Yes, yes you course. were slightly putting down nannies a little I was not... I, well, not so much. I was saying that not all nannies are as lovely as Mary Poppins. Oh, Mary Poppins right, was a lovely right, nanny. Right. Thank you. Yeah, no, I, I love Mary Poppins. I do. Retribution or something. You know? No, 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 absolutely not. I love Mary Poppins. I watch now Mary Poppins. I watch it again now with my son. Well, yes, it's, it's a very good babysitter. Yeah, isn't it, it is. Yes. Yes. Watch that, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's gone for a nap time. Watch that. But I, uh, when you were shooting that movie, did anyone? Did you shoot the movie in England? No. Oh. Shot it here at the, on the I, Disney lot. Because I wonder. Lot, yeah. I wonder. Because you are English, of course. Oh uh, yeah, I certainly and, am. And did anyone mention at the time to Dick Van Dyke, uh, you know, the accent? I think Dick mentioned it to himself. Oh, he knew. Yes. He knew. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Because well, I that was I had never heard any English people before that time, so I thought English people sounded a bit like oh Mary Bobby <laughs> and like that. When I heard it. When I heard a real English person, I was like, oh, how charming. Yeah. <laughs> I, see, I get your point. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lovely film, though. It oh, is a lovely thank film. You. Now, what's interesting about your book is, though, it stops at Mary at Poppins. At Mary Poppins, it yeah, does. Because we yeah. why do you, what do you concentrate more on in this book? By the way, I love this photograph. Isn't that nice? Thanks. Isn't that lovely? I, uh, it was taking some time in my, yeah. in my youth. That's yeah. sweetie pie. Um, I kind of ended the book there because... I think after, uh, I, nobody really knows, what I, what I wanted to write was a tiny portion of theatre history that perhaps not too many people know about. Well, you were brought up kind I of in the theatre, I was brought up yeah. in English Music Hall in right. Vaudeville and... and uh, I did a bit of that towards the... Did you? Well, a little bit. I well, mean, a lot I, of the guys I worked with very early on yeah. were guys who had, you know, grown up that, through yeah. that time. And I, honestly, uh, Craig, I see, a, you know, I feel that you know everything about Vaudeville. Well, a lot of the material I use is from Vaudeville. Yes, it's, uh, yeah, you know, it's, yeah. it... No, it's wonderful, though. Well, it's... Because it's, it's a special kind of humour. Did it's you ever know a guy called Dennis Critchley? No. Dennis worked with, uh, I think he worked with Max Wall at the Hackney Empire. Oh, well, Empire. I worked with Max Wall. Right, Max Wall used to do the, uh, yes, the funny did, walk yes, and all and that. Professor yeah. Wolofsky was and, his main character. Yeah, and that was, uh, Mick Jagger ripped that completely off. Kind of, didn't he? I know. Like, I ain't, you know, I like that. put those two together yeah. at all. No, that I oh. think is what happened. Yeah. But uh, Dennis Critchley used to work the Hackney Empire. And, and he, I've worked the Hackney Empire. The Hackney Empire in the East End of London was a theatre where during the Blitz of London, they were dropping bombs and the comedians kept going. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, That's kind right. of what it feels like to work here someday. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Do, and uh, your your stepfather was uh, Ted Andrews, right? That's right. Who, who yeah. was, uh, he was, he a... was a tenor, and uh, right. he and my mum had a kind of uh, drawing room act where they started off with light opera, and then they went into ballads, and then they went into sort of popular songs of the day, and he played the guitar a bit Presley like and uh, and then you you came out and then I but then I, when I was about um, eight or nine I started joining their act because I had this freak uh, voice of Lovely like four voice, octaves yeah. you know and yeah. uh, we sort of dogs for miles around would howl when I <laughs> went that high you know <clears throat> and um, 
Uh, so I joined the act, and then eventually we, we became a threesome, and then I went out on my own and after went, that, and that no, all over And England. did you ever work with uh, people like uh, like Peter Sellers oh, and, gosh, and, and yeah. people around Tony, Spike Milligan? Yes, and Tony Hancock. And, Tony um, Hancock's a very interesting figure, wasn't he? He was, he was a very tragic, very, yeah, very there, funny yeah, comedian. Yeah, I did a lot of English pantomimes, which I don't think many Americans know what English pantomime is. Well, let, stay with us, America. They Here's what we're going to do. It's hard to explain. Basically, it's a lot of men dressing up as ladies right and uh, ladies dressing up as men and catchphrases yes this show actually is a pantomime that's really what it is <laughs> sort of it kind of is yes, isn't it in a way yeah. i mean it's very old-fashioned retro english scottish musical yeah, humor i played a lot of places in scotland did you really what did you play? i played uh, edinburgh glasgow aberdeen where did you play in glasgow i'm from there oh um is it the princess theater it, uh, 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 the pavilion no, theater and no. the king's theater and there was uh, the empire oh the empire it must yeah, have been yeah, glasgow, yeah, the empire. But second house saturday night glasgow ah, yes. was Rowdy. Yeah, they, they actually had to knock it down while the second house was in. <laughs> I can imagine. Oh, no. It, oh, it, it was, was notorious. Legendary. Yeah, yeah. There was a guy there, an English uh, comedian, Des O'Connor. Yes, was, I know him. He was out there doing the second show on a, on a, a Saturday night, and he, it was so bad he pretended to faint. He admits it. He admits it. Really? On stage, he went, oh, and fainted. <laughs> And then they took them move. off. Absolutely. I wish I'd done that. I, I might present to paint before the end of this show. <laughs> Don't. No, 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 I'm all right. Um, but, I mean, they would be throwing bottles in the, in yeah. the balcony. Oh, you're making me homesick. Now. Yeah. <laughs> no, do you go back over to England a lot? Do you I do. A lot of time uh, over more, there? more than people know. Uh, twice or three times a year if I can. Right. Yeah. But your home is in Los Angeles? Yeah. I and you've lived here, here for quite some time I've now, lived here you? now. Oh, gosh. 40-something years, I it's guess. It's changed a bit, L.A., hasn't it, I The place think. keeps getting more and more crowded and busy and... Uh, and also, what do you think, because you, you were a star very, very young. Yeah. Uh, when you did Mary Poppins, you must have been really 20 early twenties. Something, yeah. Yeah, and the the I mean the kids that were becoming fam that famous now they're all kind of making sex tapes. And are there any tapes around? That's of what Mary I'm saying. Poppins. Are there any tapes around? Of Mary Poppins. I, I'll